In today's video, I show you the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon. So before I show you what the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon is, let's first have a look at the long head of the biceps tendon. Let me zoom in a little. So this is the long head of the biceps tendon, this is the tendon sheath, and this is the bicipital groove. We're going proximally and here it's pivoting medially and this is the intraarticular segment here and then it's inserting into the superior pole of the glenoid. Let's go back here, that's the biceps tendon. So the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon is this structure here. And it's a bit confusing because there is uh, a paper from 2010 that suggests that this is actually a accessory head of the long biceps tendon. But there was a second study in 2015 that showed that this is actually here in continuity with the supraspinatus tendon and that it should not be called a accessory head of the long biceps tendon, but the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon. If you follow it down here, first of all it's outside of the tendon sheath and then it's here blending with the pectoralis major tendon. So it's not even inserting into the biceps muscle and therefore it should not be called an accessory, accessory head of the long biceps tendon. Let's start again from distally going proximally. This is the aponeurotic expansion here, here, and this is the long biceps head here, here. And this is still the long head of the biceps tendon and this is the aponeurotic expansion. Biceps expansion, biceps expansion, and you can see how it's blending here with the supraspinatus here. Check. Okay. Then another structure here is this suspension here of the long head of the biceps tendon. It's something you can frequently see, especially if there is fluid or contrast after arthrography within the bicipital groove. That's a normal finding here. Now let's go to this patient here. First of all, this is the supraspinatus tendon and you can see that we have a large tear of the rotator cuff here. and Let's follow it down here to the bicipital groove and we have the long biceps tendon here and we have this other structure here which as we learned just now is the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon. If we follow it down here you can see it's blending with the pectoralis major tendon and not really um, is an accessory tendon so here. This is the long end of the biceps tendon and this is the aponeurotic expansion or sometimes also called the aponeurotic slip of the supraspinatus tendon. It's certainly not a split of the long biceps tendon and also not an accessory head as I have already mentioned. And this is a very prominent one. You can see here this is the expansion, this one running over the biceps and then here into this torn supraspinatus tendon. So. What's probably hindering the, the supraspinatus tendon here to retract even more is this thick aponeurotic expansion here. This, 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 this. And we have the biceps tendon here, subluxated medially because there is also a tear of the subscapularis tendon and there is tendinopathy here of the long head of the biceps tendon. So they are in close proximity, but in this case it's a very prominent one and you hardly ever see it this big. In fact, there is the study by Moser that suggests that the aponeurotic expansion in different sizes is visible in about 50% of patients. Now a point I'd like to make is this structure here. You frequently see some black structure, linear structure laterally to the long head of the biceps tendon and that should also not be mistaken as an accessory head. So again, we have the long head of the biceps tendon here, 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 inserting into the glenoid. 
and if we have the supraspinatus tendon here and we are looking here at the most anterior part we can see that here just above the level of the transverse ligament we have this slip or aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon which is pretty small in this case now interestingly look at this black structure here this black structure is not really running down straight it jumps around so it's like a little sling and it's actually a vessel and not a tendon so also do not mistake this as an accessory head or something again if you look at this image here you could easily think oh there is a split of the long biceps tendon but follow it through proximally and you can see that this is blending in with the supraspinatus tendon and is therefore a aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon and then here blending with the pectoralis major tendon Again, you can see the aponeuric expansion here in this patient. It's not inside the sheath here, here. It's a small one, but here you can easily see how it's blending in with the supraspinatus tendon. Now, this is a very prominent one here, and don't mistake this as a tendon because it's certainly a vessel, and you can see how it's here entering or exiting the bone here. So this is also just a normal structure that should not be mistaken as a pathology. Now this is a very nice case because you can see how this vessel here enters or exits the bone. Here it's coming out and then here and you can see how these two dots are running down on the surface of the humeral bone and this is just a normal vessel here. Nicely depicted with this intraosseous part of the vessel. In this last case you have this finding here in the bicipital groove and it could be mistaken as a split of the long head of the biceps tendon but if you follow it through you can see that the one is blending in with the pectoralis major tendon and if you follow it proximally here 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 you can see how it's blending in here with the supraspinatus tendon let me show you this again so this is the supraspinatus tendon you have this structure here 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 here, 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 and this is the biceps tendon, it's below it, and this is the biceps tendon, this is the aponeurotic expansion, this is the biceps tendon, this is the expansion, this is the biceps tendon, and this is the expansion. So it's not a split, but it's just a normal variant. It, I would say it's not even a variant, it's just a normal finding. So this was the first article here by Geno et al, and if you look at their figures you can see that they are showing here this accessory head of the biceps tendon running parallel with the long head of the biceps tendon they assumed an insertion here at the greater tuberosity and you can see the images here this is the long head this is the accessory head as they called it here again and they even have histopathology or histology and you can see it's a tendon or tendon-like structure here this is the biceps tendon here again here there even cadavers and stuff like that so they were pretty sure about it and now let me show you the other paper this is the other study by Moser that showed in 150 shoulder MRIs that the uh, expansion was present in a, about half of the shoulders and again you can see it, it's exactly the same structure than in the previous paper even in ultrasound you have the biceps tendon and the expansion here and if we go down there are different forms of it whatever here here so they are talking about the same structure and in one paper they say it's a accessory head and the other paper says it's an aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon and they actually follow this all the way down and it's inserting into the um, pectoralis major and um, tendon and not into the biceps brachy muscle and here you can see and also there is a third head of the biceps as a variant and this one is actually starting down here so it's not up here so that's basically it so that's it for today i hope you learned something give the video a like and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to support me on a more personal level and get access to 
um, exclusive videos over on my Patreon page, make sure to check the link out. You can find it down in the description as well. Also, I put the link to both papers that I showed you in this paper also down in the description. See you next week. Wait a minute. If this is the long biceps tendon and this is the aponeurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon, what's this? Holy moly, what's this here? This is the expansion, this is an unknown structure. Seems to blend in with the supraspinatus as well. But it seems to blend with the long end of the biceps tendon. What the? Oh. Maybe there's still an accessory head of the long head of the biceps tendon.